There's this text animation effect that I keep seeing and I wanna show you how to do it in After Effects because it's actually rather simple to do. A few of my favorite YouTubers, including Yes Theory, Nathaniel Drew, and others have been using the same style of animation. If you get close to what you love, who you are is revealed to you and it expands. And it's a great simple way to introduce text into your videos that looks very professional. See the text sort of fades up, it has some motion to it. There's a couple other elements such as some glow and in the Yes Theory video, you can see that there's a little bit of wiggle as well. I actually used it in a video that I just put out on my trip up to Big Sur, California. So let's dive in to After Effects and learn how to do it. Here I am in After Effects in the default workspace. I have a new composition open. I'm just going to take my text tool, click in there, and I'm going to type in some text, wiggle, fade on, pop, up, text. That's what we're gonna call this effect. Then I'm going to use the align tool panel right here to just center it. Doesn't really need to be centered, but I like my things symmetrical. Next, we're going to go into the effects and presets panel, drop down the animation presets folder, the text folder, the animate in folder, and then we're going to add the straight in by word effect. So if we do this, what you'll see is that two keyframes have been added to our text. If you press U on your keyboard, you can see that those keyframes. Now this isn't moving our text on the way we want. It's moving from the side and we want it to move either top to bottom or bottom up or maybe side works for you. But for this effect, we're going to change the position under the animator. So I opened up the text drop down under this text layer and I'm going to reset the position to zero. So if the position is at zero, we don't have any motion. But if we take the Y position, because this was the X position on the X graph, if we take the Y position and move it down, you'll see that this is the starting point of our text. And so now it's going to move up. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's one step to having this move on. The other thing we want to do is ease it on. So right now it sort of moves and it stops rather abruptly. So what we're going to do, and I'm just gonna take this in like so, so we can loop our animation. We're gonna go under advanced, and then we're going to ease the low, which is sort of the last part of the animation. Let's just ease that all the way up to 100. And so it's this animation is a little too quick for you to see that easing that well, but if we extend the length of this entire animation, let's make it three seconds, then we'll be able to see how it sort of fades on or it slows on, sort of like an easy ease to a keyframe. So now we have the pop on effect. The next thing we have to do is add another animator, which is the fade on words animation. I was trying to figure out how you do this with this effect to fade each character on or each word on as well as have it move on with one of these preset effects. And this is the way that I figured it out. So when I added that onto this, if I press U on my keyboard, I can see that there's another range selector animation. And I know that's the fade on. And what I wanna do is now match the keyframes for both of these effects. So you can see that I'm literally just moving these keyframes on. And because the percentage moves at the same rate now, each word fades on while it pops up. Cool, right? And so one other sort of advanced thing to know is if you need to time this to words that you are saying, you can keyframe this differently. So right now it goes from zero to 100% just sort of equally. But if you need to pause, say we say wiggle, and we're gonna pause right before fade pops up, we can set keyframes here for 16%. We can go forward, say we have a beat, a pause, and then we're gonna copy and paste these keyframes, 16. So there's nothing happening between these keyframes. And now there's a pause before the rest of the text pops on. Now you might wanna extend this so that the speed is a little bit slower throughout. 
but that's how you can actually speed the match the speed of the audio with this animation all right so now let's add a little bit of wiggle so if we click this drop down again to get our main text option we need to add an animator we're going to animate the position so if you click this little play button click position and then we're also going to add a rotation as well we'll see how that works in a second but if we click rotation it adds that rotation under this animator make sure it's under that animator now nothing is happening with this text as so and if we take these parameters and we move it it's moving the entire text it's not actually animating so what we want to do is go under the animator 3 and click add selector wiggly okay and so now it's going to wiggle each parameter individually and so if we change the position to say like 10 and then the rotation I'll just go crazy so you can see what it would look like with 28 degrees see how it's animating the position and the rotation if I go crazy with the position you can see it this is where you can get some really organic looking text but if you want just like a very subtle animation something like five maybe we'll do like five five and then one degree is pretty good if you want it to wiggle more under wiggly selector open that up and go to wiggles per second and you could increase that see how that sort of makes it even more organic and there's lots of other effects here or settings that you can use to customize how it looks but the main thing is the more position you change here and the rotation the more it's going to move and then under wiggly selector it's the faster it's going to move or the more times it's going to move per second basically so that's how we add a little bit of wiggle to this text so now our text looks pretty good in terms of the animation the next thing we're going to do is add a little glow so under our effects and presets under stylize we're going to take this stylize option and click glow now that adds sort of a standard glow I'm gonna pause this so we can kind of see it you just want to play around with this increasing the intensity can make it brighter the radius can also expand sort of the feathering almost of that glow so it's going to depend on the size of your text uh, this radius will change depending on how big your text is what resolution you're filming at or shoot creating at and if you want to add a little bit of color you can change the colors down here let's say let's uh, make this more like a yellow yellowish glow and then glow colors you change from a and b and there you get some color now that is a little bit intense i think using the original colors actually works pretty good uh, for what i'm trying to do so now we have our wiggle fade on pop up text with a little bit of glow the last thing that we're going to do to really sell this is if you're putting it over video clips of you talking or something like that that will work or if you're just trying to create a stylized effect then adding some sort of background is nice so in this original clip right here I use a couple layers this tree and wave so if I take out the waves you'll see that I actually have this tree texture and I changed the blend mode and if you don't see blend mode you can click this toggle switches modes button to dodge color dodge and so it's two video clips combined another texture based video that I downloaded from Storyblocks hashtag not sponsored but I love their site is this cloudy texture I'm increasing the size because it's not 4k but this is sort of a cool texture effect it's not really the colors that I want though so if you ever have a texture that you want to quickly change to another color one way is just to command Y or control Y if you're on a PC to create a new solid layer say we want that red because that's our brand color 
if we drop that underneath the cloud texture and then just simply change the blend mode of our cloud texture you could do that with the shift plus or minus buttons or this drop down menu right here as we saw before to select a specific blend mode something like ooh, something like that's pretty cool a very subtle texture i like the subtlety in textures a lot maybe it's a little bright so maybe let's see something like hard light might work that's kind of fun so it's not exactly a red but the blending between this texture and the red solid works pretty good for what i'm going for so adding backgrounds adding textures is something that will up your video game and then lastly we can really sell it with some sound effects and it's i know as a video editor creator it's the last thing you want to spend time doing but really taking the time to add some sound effects will really sell the effects that you have so something like a whoosh sound might work good these are also from story blocks hitting ll on the keyboard will bring up the waveform which is great because then i could sort of match the volume of this or the sound effect to the motion let me move it a little bit sooner and usually i add these sound effects in premiere pro i find audio editing a lot easier in premiere pro but i just want to show you so that you can hear how adding some sound effects really helps something like that's kind of cool and then i would add and repeat them for the rest of the words make them super subtle again decreasing the volume over whatever music or talking that i have on the actual video so that it's not too over the top but i think subtle whooshes the click doesn't really work for this video although sometimes adding a little bit of uh, a click and i would drop the volume on that let's just drop it something like super subtle might might be kind of cool command d to duplicate that i don't know probably would work better for like a type on sort of effect i think the whooshes by themselves work better for this but what do you think let me know in the comments if you like this effect if you think it's a solid one thank you nathaniel drew yes theory for the inspiration if you haven't gone through yet watch my big sur video it's a fun little video montage a little poetry that i wrote after a trip doing some photo and video with a couple of friends up there in central california so go ahead and check that out and if there's any effects or styles of motion graphics text animations like this that you see if it's like a youtube creator or a film send it over my way and perhaps i can create a tutorial to show you exactly how to do it all right, if you use this effect in a video, tag me on Instagram, share it with me on YouTube, uh, send it my way so I can check it out. Thank you so much. And as always, subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment if you haven't done so yet. That really helps out with the algorithm and we'll see you in another tutorial. Cheers.